Hi, it's teacher Melissa today and I want to talk to you about a method that I use when I get to the spelling portions of a lesson. You know where it shows the little chalkboard and you have them spell it? Say the word out loud. So this is what I do in my classroom and it has worked really well and has given these students an idea of what the word spelling means and has helped me to catch some errors that I did not even know were there. So I want to show you one of the spelling slides that was in a recent lesson of mine with a student. So you can see here's the chalkboard. Now this is a student who has somehow not yet discovered that all the words are written on the bottom of the screen and these old the teacher tips are there in some of these older classes. I usually scribble out those words so the students can't see them, but this is a younger student and she just hasn't caught on yet that she can look down there for the answers. So I didn't scribble out on this one. But I want her to know that I want her to do this as a spelling bee. So I'm gonna kind of model a spelling bee first. So I say the word and I will say, Coco, spell into. And the student writes into and then they're silent. Right? Does that happen to you? Okay, so what I started teaching my students was how we spell in a class in America. So she wrote into and stopped. Good job, Coco. Yes, here is how we spell. Say the letters. I N T O. Then say the word like this Teacher Melissa, spell into. I N T O. Into. Now you try. Coco, spell into. Then Coco spelled it with the letters, said the word. I drew a smiley face next to it, and she drew a little heart. She understood. Great. Now, this is important to get the idea of spelling across. There is a difference between writing a word and spelling it. Spelling means you understand the letters that are being used, not that you can just write it. Of course, writing it correctly is part of spelling, but spelling is an understanding of the letters. So as we went through this slide, she did great. But when we got to the word came, she mispronounced the name of the letter C. She said, say a m e came. Good job. She spelled it correctly. I gave her the little star. Then I was able to tell her, Coco, we say the name of this letter, C. It sounds like C. C-A-M-E. So I was able to correct her understanding of the name of the letter C. Now, she's like a level three student, so she should know that, right? But if no one has told her to pronounce the letter C since she was way back in letter, beginning level two with letter names, she may have forgotten. Maybe she started with us in level three and no one has told her to say the names of the letters out loud in a spelling bee. So she did not know and did not ever hear it corrected. Either way, I've caught that mistake and I have helped her correct it by simply having her say the names of the letters. I had a student in another lesson who mispronounced the letter L. He just said L, like the sound. Again, he was like a level four. And I, I don't know, has no one ever taught him that? Has his non-native English speaking teachers in China have given him the wrong pronunciation accidentally? Uh, maybe he started with us in level four and he does not never learn from a native English speaker how to say the letter. Now, that was a great way to help them catch that. Please, if you catch a mistake, this is an important thing to write in feedback to the parent and to LP. You can say, we spelled the word came. The letter C is pronounced, and you might even write how it's pronounced. I wrote the letter C is pronounced with a long E 
sound. Good job, Coco. And I just pointed out that this is a mistake the student has made, and we corrected it, and they did a great job. So these are great things to write in feedback to the parent and the LP so that they are aware the student is mispronouncing a very, very basic English skill, which is naming the letters. And I've caught this quite a few times in my upper level students that they are not writing them are not spelling them, saying the name of the letter correctly. Even if they're spelling the word right, writing it down, when I have them say the letter, they're not saying the name right. So hopefully this tip will help you correct your students, give you something that you can say to the parents that you are working on, and parents will be very grateful for your seriousness and your responsibility and attention to these little details in their child's English skills. So make sure you point those things out in your spelling bees. And I just want to make a little side note. If you can tell it's an I, don't correct how they're writing it. They're writing it kind of like in italics sort of thing, you know, that eyes kind of loopy. It, it looks like an I. We can tell. It's just a different font. I, I leave those alone. I write mine in regular I. They recognize it. They write their I like that. I recognize theirs. So we're both good. I don't correct writing unless, they, unless it, I, it's unrecognizable. So don't worry about the font when they're writing and they're spelling. Just worry about them saying the names of the letters. Okay, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if it helps you. Share it with your VIP Kid teacher friends if you think this will help them. And you can subscribe to my YouTube channel below. I have new content at least once a week. I'd be happy to help you improve your skills in teaching your students English language acquisition. Have a great day.